face that this world has forgotten. Mm, what is up, guys? Of course, welcome to another episode of Who Was Really Better. And on this episode, we're gonna look at, of course, the grass poison side from Generation 1's release, the ones that were most viable being, of course, Victory Bell versus Venusaur. And these guys are actually mostly famous for, outside of, of course, Venusaur's Mega Evolution. Their chlorophyll sweeping capabilities are both a superb chlorophyll sweeper and probably the ones that stands out the most, mainly because of the variety of moves that they bring in to get over the lies of growth. So being of course from generation 1, one would assume these Pokemon are kinda bad or lack the niches to be viable, but they are actually stand tall generation after generation due to, as I said here, their variety and offensive capabilities. While, of course, Venusaur mostly famous for its being more defensively, Victor Bell always stand a few steps ahead, mainly because its offensive pressure are a really, really, really high one. So if we were looking to, of course, their stats, one would see as stated that while they do share the HP stats, um, Victor Bell has a very, very high base attack, which clearly, of course, regular Venusaur do lack. But it has worse defense, of course, Venusaur have a little bit more about that, and of course, special attack is shared with 100. Then, of course, Venusaur's special defense are leaping 100, while, of course, the Victory Bells is only around the 70s. And, of course, the Venusaur do have the speed advantage, being an 80 base sweep with capabilities with the light of Chlorophyll, as, of course, Victory Bells score 70 base speed, which, mind you guys, due to double speed is not necessarily bad, but that is a definitely a factor between which kind of Pokemon these can take on outside of course. Now before we go even further, one really has to talk about the Grass Poison combination. Grass Poison is probably one of the better combination for these typings alone. Soul Grass typing is usually a really bad defensive one, so goes for Poison, but the combination solves a lot of the issues. So while it is resistant for Grass, clearly it does resist Electric, Fairy, Fighting and Water, it is weak to Firefly and Ice and Psyche, which are common, but usually, as of course said there, this combination mainly solves a lot of what these guys lack. So, with that said, we're gonna, of course, go over their um, of course, ability. Outside of Chlorophyll, which clearly is their main perk and the reason you want to use these Pokemon, um, Victory Bells do get Gluttonies, which makes sure that any type of berry that has a 25% uh, HP uh, trigger is now 50, and uh, for those even worse, triggers earlier. A uh, very, very good ability, not necessarily on Victory Bell, but definitely has its niches. And of course, you get with the likes of Endure. Um, Victory Bell can be very, very interesting with the likes of Salak Bear and whatnot. Then again, that would consider that Gluttony would not activate much more early, which clearly you kind of have to. Uh, and of course, Venusaur do get Overgrow. Overgrow is not a bad ability per se, but you, it does require you to get below 30% of course to be able to activate it, which boosts your grass type stab damage. But of course 50% so overall it's a good ability but much like victory bells kind of ability it has a trigger which clearly makes it a bit too passive for these kind of pokemon to use well so chlorophyll clearly is what it's at so with that said we're gonna go over of course what these two pokemon can do and uh, yeah they both have access to growth growth is probably the main kind of set up with these two pokemon because in the sun you get plus two in both attack and special attack now, these both have very, very good stab attack with the likes of, of course, Solar Beam, Giga Drain, and of course, Sludge Bomb, which are a great combination. So, where it does shine is where, of course, the other one doesn't, and it all depends on how you want to view it. Venusaur gets Earthquake, which is a very, very good move for it, mainly because hitting, of course, a Pokemon that could be resilient, such as, of course, a Poison type. And Victor Bell do not have a proper response to that, but Victor Bell do have the likes of Weather Ball, and while of course Venusaur do get the Weather Ball, uh, Venusaur can't get it in combination with Chlorophyll due to being an event move in Generation 3, which of course uh, the Chlorophyll was sadly a hidden ability in Generation 5, making Venusaur less viable when it comes to the likes of the Weather Ball capabilities. Having that said, it does get it. They also both get, of course, Leaf Storm as a very, very powerful hit, and uh, where it does kind of differentiate between these two is where Victory Bell has a physical move pool, which kind of, outside of Earthquake, of course, Venusaur kind of lack. Victory Bell, due to, of course, this generation gets Poison Jab and has naturally Power Whip and Knock Off, making Victory Bell a bit more varied, but of course, having that said, it also is less bulkier. 
Venusaur has the likes of Leech Seeds and Diseases, which make it due to its natural ball can be slightly speedier, being able to take a lot more punishment over Victory Bell. The Victory Bell, of course, also gets the likes of Sucker Punch. While it does lack the speed, it can still uh, prioritize things with, of course, the likes of Sucker Punch. So, straight on at it, offensively, Victory Bell do stand quite tall over Venusaur. There is really nothing to it. There is very, very easy to see why Victory Bell would be considered, of course, a better between these two. But we don't really can go all out and say that it is the winner because Grass Poison typing is mainly a good defensive typing. Resistant, as stated before, Electric, Fairy, Finding Water. Fairly com common combination, being able to soak those hits are a very, very good proof of these kind of Pokemons. And while, of course, both are resisting it, it's very clear when Victory Bell takes damage from a resisted hit, it still hurts. And while the Venusaur does that, it can take it a lot better due to its much, much smarter defensive distribution of stats, together with, of course, its speed tier, making sure that any defensive Pokemon doesn't necessarily be able to outspeed it, which means that it can actually recover back on Adequate Synthesis, or of course going for a possible powder or leech move. While of course the all of them or these both get of course the powder moves, it's very clear that Venusaur is the one using them better due to of course the defensive capabilities of the time being to get it with the Pokemon itself. So now that we have established of course which one does what well, um it all kind of really boils down to personal preferences. Venusaur probably would have won in my honest opinion previous generation due to of course being much more unpredictable back then but of course the offensive set and the defensive set but this time around and mainly because victory gets poisoned you have this generation and can now be a special and a physical sweeper i must say victory bell really really got a lot better and in my honest opinion is the better between these two but having that said it's still gonna boil down to personal preferences if you want a more defensive uh, chlorophyll sweeper venusaur is just at it and of course with earthquake it does have a point of being of course a chlorophyll sweeper it does have a great variety it can deal with much much better matchups but victory bell is straight on at it a pure life orb sweeper and it being able to of course hit it with likes of wither ball and a fire type base move which pretty much can ko any kind of responses for it yeah victory bell is a powerhouse very very hard to deal with and with power whip of course and knock off poison jab this thing just becomes so great and so varied that i really couldn't undermine it much much more than that it's a very good pokemon a very, very powerful one at that and being able to be both kind of sweepers only enforces stat points and uh, yeah i mean as stated um i really really see the perks for venusaur and quite honestly without the sun Venusaur is superior to Victory Bell. It all boils down to that Victory Bell is probably the better chlorophyll sweeper, and even at that, is just is <laughs> definitely becomes to personal preferences. But for my money, Victory Bell is just that it just hits that much harder. So for my money, Victory Bell is considered the best between these two. So, well, of course, that's it, guys. What did you think about these two? Uh, do you have a personal preference? Do you prefer? And if so, do tell us why. And of course, if you want to see a different kind of matchup going on in next week, be sure to tell me because we have a few coming up. But I still want to take requests from you guys and try to be as far as I can, of course, which Pokemon that could be considered the better between the matchup that you consider being worthwhile for these episodes. So with that, guys, thank you, of course, so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, of course, take care.